people today i bring you a very uh, special video uh, solving a problem that i had for uh, quite a long time since i replaced the throttle position sensor the throttle position sensor needed to be tuned uh, because uh, i was feeling after i replaced the sensor i was feeling a bit of jerkiness once i uh, stepped lightly on the gas pedal you will uh, notice this if this is uh, annoying for you when for example when shifting between the gears you will notice that there will be a jerking motion in the car uh, in the moment where you let, let off the clutch. And uh, this may be a very important uh, aspect to solve. It will give you a more comfortable ride. And uh, it's a very simple procedure. So I recommend that you watch this video. As always, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. So let's start with this. Uh, you need a, a multimeter, normal multimeter. It has to have a, um, an ohmimeter section to measure resistance and then you will need uh, two tiny uh, grips you see these uh, electronics grips you place them on the end of your leads your testing leads and then you will use the the grips on the terminals to perform you have to remove two bolts one here and one here and then you will have to remove the, the throttle position sensor. My honest tip to you guys is these bolts are, uh, are very bad. Do yourself a favor, go to the hardware store and buy stainless steel uh, bolts with a hex uh, head instead of the, um, the Philips head because the Philips head is a pain to work in such tight spaces and it will uh, mow down which will, will, um, it will strip, that's the term, and uh, it will give you a lot of pain. So, use hex screws all the way, in stainless, preferably. So, as the manual says, you have to insert uh, a blade, a filler gauge blade, between the, the throttle uh, stop screw and stop lever. Which you see, where it goes, where the, the, um, this part goes against the stopper bolt, you have to stick your filler gauge blade between it's over there between this uh, part and the stop screw which is this see you open up the the throttle and then you insert your gauge blade in there see where the filler gauge blade is uh, placed that's where you should place it with uh, the blade you have to choose is the uh, 0. Uh, 40, 47 millimeters. Uh, since I do not have a 0 0.47 millimeters, I'll be using the 0 0.50, which is almost the same. So, when tightening the both bolts, uh, don't over tighten them already. Be loosen the, them a little bit so that you can handle the sensor like this. You see, you can move it around. Uh, then tighten it up a little bit to make it hard for it to move, but ensure it it's possible to move it. You see, it should be like this. You can move it, but it should cost quite a lot to, to move it from each position. We have to insert our uh, clamps into the two top uh, connectors. So, One, one goes into the second from the from the top, counting from the top, and then the other one goes into the top connector. Uh, turn the sensor all the way counterclockwise, and look at your multimeter. You will see uh, a value, a low value, like approximately 0 0.022 or 0 0.02. Three, for example, and in a sort of this sort of value, uh, regulate your multimeter for uh, measuring uh, resistance, which is the ohm symbol, the omega symbol, and uh, regulate this to the scale of 2k. And now we are ready to begin the tuning process. Uh, look at the values as I turn the the sensor slowly. Uh, Clockwise, I mean this way. I'm now 
turning the sensor. Look at the values. They will increase. Then there is a point where it becomes one. What does this mean? It means that the there is a, an infinite uh, resistance at this point. It means this is exactly the point where we want the sensor. We want the the sensor exactly in the point where the circuit opened. So you roll back the sensor a little bit. I mean you turn it counterclockwise towards you and you see the resistance becomes low again. It changes again. So you turn it back again clockwise slowly you see I'm turning the sensor and becomes one again. Look for the point where it becomes one by turning it counterclockwise and clockwise until you can find the exact spot where it becomes one. In that spot you are ready to tighten the bolts because that's where the sensor will be properly tuned. I seem to have find, found the place where my sensor is correctly tuned. Now I have to tighten the bolts. Tighten the bolts, be very careful, tighten them one at a time, just a little bit and watch for changes in the, in the multimeter. If anything changes, uh, you have to roll back everything. But, so you have to be extra careful tightening the bolts, uh, tighten them one at a time and half a turn at a time for example. When the throttle is closed, you see the numbers there. When I lay my finger on it, see, at the slightest touch, the throttle doesn't need, doesn't even visibly move. You see. Just me laying my finger on it will make it activate. Just the slightest touch. That's well. That's how I tuned my my throttle position sensor. I'm looking for your forward to your comments and uh, suggestions.